uh, well, it was a good win in the end. Um, uh, boys played real well. We wanted to play very rugby tonight. Obviously, the weather dictated that a bit with obviously the bad conditions, but I thought the boys done well. Um, we second half, we come out with the house on fire, scored a couple of good tries. Then we probably relaxed them for about 10 15 minutes where Uruguay come back into the game and scored in two tries. And I thought we finished the game real strong and brilliantly. Man of match performance, um, you look very uh, comfortable in that 10 jersey. Well, to be honest, I played 10 a lot uh, during my junior days, so um, I've been running there quite a bit in training, obviously, with the A team as well. So it was just good to go out there, go back to re back to where I sat in the game, really playing 10, enjoying it. And obviously, yeah, the boys working around me, the full back were outstanding. The young boys in the back line, obviously, were real good. And I just thought it was just a good team display, but I probably had the man of the match, maybe because it's my 100th game, but I thought it was a good team effort. Well, you mentioned the 100th, uh, uh, you know, uh, the cap. Um, what, what sort of achievement is that for you on a, on a personal basis? Oh, it's a massive achievement for me. Like I, like I said to the boys leading up to the game, uh, when I'm, I'm a young boy from Cardiff, I watch Cardiff Blues play since I was a kid. Obviously, like, like watch the likes of Mark Williams, Gethin Jenkins, Tom Shanklin, and me to be able to play with them. It was always a dream, it was always a dream to play a game for the Blues, which I don't have to play 100 games, like we said, it's just... Basically, just not going to realise when I wake up tomorrow morning realising I've reached that goal until that cap and the shirt's up on a wall in the house, really. Two seasons ago, I was probably flying, really. I was on 95 yeah. caps, and obviously, I suffered a bad injury out in Connaught, which took me a long time to get back. And I was, like I said, thankful for, thankful for the Blues for, you know, giving me the rehab, the time to get back. Like I said, not many people thought I would have played again, but with the help from the Blues, they got me back out on the field. And then just unfortunately, you know, when I made my first game back down in Newcastle, I uh, fractured my wrist. So, you know, just have a setback like that again. I was just thinking to myself, am I ever going to reach this goal? And uh, like I come back pre-season, I just have to put my head down, work hard. Um, the boys obviously finished the season last year real well, winning the uh, European Cup. Boys come back in fanta fantastic shape. So I just had to bide my time really of trying to get back to this under caps. And, you know, I've been involved now in the last three games for the Blues. And I'm starting to feel back to where I was when I uh, received the first injury. So just hoping all we just keep going and keep starting again. Most of the boys in the squad have been through a bad injury, and um, obviously sitting down when I had um, that uh, serious hamstring injury and just talking to boys, senior boys, guiding you through it. Really, like we said, here in the dark place at first, but family and friends have stuck by me. They made me get back to where I was. Really telling me, obviously, I'll be fine. It's just a little motivation again, and you just set yourself as little goals. And obviously, and the, ult the ultimate goal is to get back out on the field. And uh, like I said, with the help from the Cardiff Blues and the family and friends, I've achieved that. And everyone gets injuries. It's part of the game. Can if a player goes through his career without getting a serious injury, well, that's good luck to him. But like we said injuries are part and parcel of the game. I wouldn't be the first person, and I'm sure he won't be the last person to have a serious injury. But like we said, there's always hope at the end of the, the tunnel. Just obviously just gonna keep digging in and just listening to what people are telling you really. And with those dark days you talked about there, were there times where you thought I might never play again yet? Oh, you know, when I'm sat in the house with my leg up stuck at 90 degrees for six for six weeks, can't get off a sofa, can't do anything, can't even shower, you're thinking to yourself then, what are you gonna do? Like but like I said, the blues are fantastic. They give me a, a, a very long time, you know, it took me almost eleven months to get back running really. So like to be honest with the Blues, they were fantastic with me. They gave me the extra opp opportunity to get back out on the field. They did everything they could. It was a slow and steady progress. Like, you, like, like we said, like, you never know if you're going to make it or not. Mm. But without the Blues giving me time to get out there, you know, you never know. If they tried to rush me back, my rehab could have ended up going backwards. But the amount of time they gave me to get back, and then obviously now it's paid off really because I got back out to the field now. And like we said, I'm happy to reach the under games. You essentially ripped the hamstring off the bone, didn't you? Yeah, I think there's three tenders in the hamstring and the three of them were gone from the belly, so... You know, when I went up to have the scan, the surgeon thought I'd been sashed by a mach machete, so he's never seen anything like that, so... And then, what were you thinking then when you break your wrist in the first game back? Well, yeah, we're down in Newcastle, you know, we're getting in a bit of a, a hiding. Go up to win the ball back, land on my wrist, and look down at my wrist and his face in the other way. Oh. And then you're just thinking it would be feel then, but... Like I said, the, the Blues have been fantastic for me with the injuries I received, all the care I've had, um, the rehab I've had has obviously got me back to this. And obviously, like I said, it's a dream come true for me, Cardiff boy, being able to play 100 games and to do it at the Ash Park with my family and friends watching. 
I'm from Tramorfa, you know, St Albans is my local club. Um, to get them boys down today to watch is just, obviously, I, hopefully I'm an inspiration to them, whereas they're an inspiration to me. I go over the club on a weekend with my parents, sit down, people come up and talk. Um, and like I said, like, St Albans is my local club, and to see them boys down tonight cheering, chanting my name, just, it's real, surreal, really, because like, if you think of the, the boys that Blues have had, the Sam Warburton, the Geffen Jenkins, these boys, but to hear your name getting chanted from the crowd, and you think, uh, it do make you feel free and just taller.